This is the Venus flytrap, but it doesn't meet my expectations. There are so many different types of Venus flytraps that people are making, but none of them quite like what I want to make. And today I'm going to make the most amazing one this game's ever seen. A giant, multi-headed Venus flytrap of doom. But before I do that, we must witness the power of even the basic Venus flytrap and what it's capable of doing. As you can see, it opens its mouth and devours its prey, slowly boiling them alive in its stomach acid. And while this one might be able to do a whole lot, there are many other ones that are just as amazing, if not more so. This is like a baby Venus flytrap. You guys, it only gets more intense from here. We have something called the King Flytrap, which is ginormous. Can we technically classify this as a Venus flytrap? I don't know. It's called Chomper, and it clearly is a little bit different. has more of an animal head going on rather than the other Venus flytrap look. But I thought I'd include it because it pretty much works the exact same way. Although this one has got spikes all over it and you can catch its prey in the spikes. What's better than one head? Three heads. And this is on a whole other level. We need to test and see what can be eaten by this thing. So I've got a whole assortment of animals here for my Venus flytrap to choose from. We'll see if they're able to actually devour some of these. Now, I think so. Like this big gigantic one right there is just utterly wrecking these things. This one is super cool because of the multi-head. But guess what? They, it, like I said, it only goes up from here because there's even more insane ones than this thing. Oh, it's got the hippo. It's got the hippo in its mouth. It doesn't quite eat him though. This is why I must make giant Venus flytraps because it needs to be able to devour even the largest of the dinosaurs. Sippo's like, forget it, I'm out of here. What? Uh, nope, is he turning back? I think he's almost dead. Whenever they're almost dead, they run away. It's too bad we can't pit Venus flytraps against Venus flytraps, or can we? Oh yeah, these three versus the three-headed Venus flytrap. Who's gonna win this one? This is pretty interesting. Oh, 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 they, oh, they're snapping at him. I don't know who's gonna win though. This is actually kind of interesting. I have no idea what's about to happen. Wait, can they actually do anything to each other? I don't know if they can because aren't there, oh, they're doing damage. The base is down there. Oh, hey, yeah, okay, it's taking damage for sure. But this looks like this battle could go on forever. But could you imagine Venus flytraps literally fighting each other in real life? That'd be crazy. You know what's better than three heads? Seven heads. A seven-headed Venus flytrap. Will it be able to destroy these guys before they chop it down? The heads in the back don't really work because they're out of reach, although they're definitely trying. They are definitely capable of eating these guys. And this guy right here is like, no, please. Please spare me, I made a mistake. I promise never to chop at a Venus flytrap again. Look at, look at this guy. Oh, there it was. He was late like, last in a while. And then he got big gigantic Venus fly spikes right in his back. Venus flytraps are known for eating lots of bugs. And not only bugs, they can eat frogs and pretty much anything that gets in their mouth, like a snail, even though that's pretty funny to watch a slug try to slither its way through a Venus flytrap. But this one right here, is the baby version of the next one. This is a giant fly trap, and you might think this is the baby version? How big's the next one? Well, this is what I'm saying. They only go up from, from here, and while the next one's gigantic, it's still not big enough for my liking, and so we need to break its record and make something even more insane. This thing, though, is pretty awesome. It doesn't, it's not really, it's not quite eating things, though. It's not opening its mouth. Open your gullet it and swallow these bugs. It has some little tiny heads on the sides, which I it was just kind of cool. But honestly, if you're going to make other heads, make other heads, make other arms and stuff. It's a pretty simple design, and I'm super excited to make mine. But first, we must look at what's called the King Fly Trap. As you can see, it has devoured many a men trying to get to the gold. This is is the king fly trap look at the size difference it's so big it's amazing looking i really really like this thing and and once i saw this i thought i need to make an even bigger version than this thing and we're gonna do it 
it will happen it's freaking amazing though and i like how it how big its mouth is it's definitely able to eat more which is exactly what i want i want it to devour whole brachiosauruses or massive amounts of animals all at one time still it suffers from the head problem where it only has one head really to work this one's doing some work too but it needs to have there needs to be more i actually really like the look of this one and so i think i want to try to make it look very similar to this and i think this yeah it's just got feathers on there and then it's on those spiky things but we gotta i gotta figure out how to make this thing bigger start with our base i'm gonna up the attack multiplier to 10 and this is where the fun begins oh let's see the size oh yeah that's that's way better but it's still not big enough so the real question is how can i make this even larger because here let me get a let me get a man in comparison here is a man that's pretty big but it needs to be bigger oh yeah oh yeah that's what i'm talking about can't really make it any bigger but we can definitely make it more epic so that's what i'm gonna go for right there oh yeah it's coming along nicely oh <laughs> we got the base built oh i think it's coming along really nice yeah and i'll definitely be putting this on the steam workshop so you can look forward to seeing it on there well it's all covered everything is ready but i'm not content yet it almost needs more heads <laughs> it almost needs to be even more intense than this meet the ultimate fly trap it has eight heads three giant ones two middle sized ones underneath actually i think this one's pretty much now nah, this one's similar size as this one over here and then there's a small one down front these this one is coming off of this one and so it should all reach this should be an absolute annihilation now the question is do they all work i think they all work some of them oh <laughs> that's exactly what i was hoping for oh my goodness it's absolute mayhem it's even better than i thought it was gonna be this is so crazy you guys this is so much better than i even imagined it was going to be some of the heads work some of them don't work i need to put stuff all around it just to kind of watch what happens when we do that here we go we're about to witness the insanity of this thing oh my goodness it's so amazing you guys this is so great all the heads are moving all the heads are doing their own thing i even have i even have plants down here and rocks and stuff look at my detail guys i i went all out for you i wanted to make sure you guys had a good a good show and a good a good creation and i think i've achieved my my purpose look at how many guys it just grabbed <laughs> this is so much better than i even imagined i love uh, you know what i've i've been really enjoying making things i need to make more stuff but now the true test you guys i said i wanted it to be able to eat dinosaurs so let's see what ha oh they're so big i don't know if it's gonna i don't know if it's gonna work it's not gonna be able to i i thought i could get the thing bigger like i thought i could get that arm way bigger and it turns out you can't you can't but they'll they're gonna they're still gonna eat them they're gonna definitely die that's for sure Open your mouth and eat that Spinosaurus. He's got the Brachiosaurus in his mouth, so that's a good thing. But it's not... These, these should be destroying these things a lot quicker than what they are. I thought I made this thing pretty powerful, but apparently I didn't. There's definitely one thing sure about this. There is nothing other than like a laser or weapon, some kind of projectile that's going to allow you to destroy this thing. Because it is... It is very well guarded in <laughs> the box the base is very well protected well you guys i think that's it for today's video i feel extremely successful after making this because normally you know I, I i don't i don't make too many things that are amazing in this game but i feel pretty good about how this thing turned out let me know in the comment section below what you think i'll definitely be posting this on the steam workshop so you guys can look forward to seeing that that was kevin McAllister saying hello it's my text message i hope you're having a great day thanks for watching click one of the two videos you're about to see i'll see you guys next time